Hello everyone, Jason from MisprintedMTG.com and welcome to another episode of Misprint Masterclass. For this episode, we're going to take a look at stamping errors, um, as you can see by the cards that are right in front of the camera. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I start talking about the cards though, I'm going to bring up this really simplified diagram of how stamping works and how crescent stamps happen as a result of this. So when you have a full sheet that's been printed, it gets put into the stamping machine. And then when it goes into the stamping machine, a strip of hollow foil film is positioned across either a row or a column of cards. Then this heated die press moves down and stamps the hollow foil into the surface of the card, fusing them together. Very simple. Uh, the next sheet goes through, the hollow foil film advances to the right, and it repeats at uh, probably a very fast rate. So crescent stamps happen as a result of this hollow foil film not advancing far enough to the right to expose a whole new section of hollow foil film. You can see we have this crescent moon shape here. This is the dying, this is the, uh, the shape that this die stamp is gonna press in as a result of this foil film not moving over to the right. And this can happen in varying degrees of severity. So, now that we have a base idea of how crescent stamps happen, here's a crescent stamp. Now, as explained just a few seconds ago, this can happen in varying degrees of severity. So you can see the negative space of the oval that was cut previously before it, and that could wander to the right or left, and it could happen either on the left side or the right side. I actually have this really interesting bygone bishop here where you can see that it actually has a crescent on the left and right side of the card, just a little tiny nick. Now, crescent or hollow foil stamps aren't the only one, the authentication stamps that could have this exact type of misprint. Uh, I'll try and get it nice and close so that you guys can see it. Please focus camera. But this is actually a case where the gold foil on the card didn't advance far enough and you can see a cutout of the star and the 20 on the left side of the stamp. An even more difficult to see example is this one where the entire date is negative spaced out of the existing foil on this one. This is much harder to see but that's what's going on. The foil didn't feed far enough and the negative space of the foil that was already cut out is missing from where the foil was stamped in. Now moving on. Another thing that could happen is the card can get stamped in the wrong location. The sheet either gets misaligned or there's a feed error. Who knows exactly what causes this, but sometimes these stamps tend to wander. This is a nice old example. Uh, so it's been happening pretty much as long as they've been making stamps. Here's an example where the sheet was fed in upside down. Here's an example that's just absolutely crazy. So you can see these can wander all over the place. Even on the back of the card, this is one where the sheet was obviously fed in flipped. Now here's another one where the stamp is actually on the back of the card. This is a flip card, thing in the ice. So the stamp's supposed to be on the front, but instead we have it on the back. Now the next type of error that we could have is shifted stamps. Uh, and this can happen to any different types of stamps. It could happen to the foil stamp down here. It could happen to the promotional stamps they put over here. Um, so this is a case where this Planeswalker symbol stamp is supposed to be right around here and it is shifted downwards. Here's one with a hollow foil stamp that was shifted all the way into the text box. Now here's a really interesting example where it's all the way at the top. Now here's an example where it's at the top. However, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on camera, but you could actually tell the sheet was fed in reverse because the symbols the authenticated, the micro symbols, if you were to look at this under magnification, are actually flipped. So the stamp's orientation is actually this. 
but I don't think my camera is going to be nice enough to pick that up for us. You can barely see that little planeswalker symbol in a planeswalker symbol. This is a stamp that was so shifted on the sheet that it actually shifted onto a card that wasn't even supposed to be stamped. And I find that to be really interesting. You can see it's from a commander product. So rares and commons and uncommons were printed on the same sheet. And for some reason or not, the sheet got shifted and the rare that was probably above this uh, didn't get its stamp or got its stamp at the top of the card. And this uncommon got a stamp at the top of the card too. Here's a different type of shifted stamp that we don't really see very often. The stamp itself is actually in the correct spot, but the card itself is miscut. So it gives us the effect that the stamp's in the wrong spot, but the stamp is actually in the correct spot, but the sheet was cut incorrectly. Um, I'm kind of curious as to how this really happens because we know that the stamps are stamped before the sheets are cut. Um, so maybe it went from the stamping machine into the cutting machine and there was some sort of a feed error between the two who knows exactly how this happened here's an example where the stamp on the sheet wandered so much uh in this is an example that shows that the stamping happens before cutting uh so it wandered uh pretty much perfectly between two cards and got sliced I think this is a really cool one. Now the next type of stamping errors we have are double stamps. Sometimes a sheet either won't progress and it'll get stamped twice, um, double strike. So sometimes we get two for the price of one. Now here's a really interesting example where we have one at the top and one at the bottom. So we can get double stamps, not just in this general vicinity, but also on other parts of the cards. And this is one of my favorites. It's way off. Now, double stamps aren't just uh, reserved for our hollow foil stamps. It could also happen to uh, promotional stamps. Now, I've actually seen examples where there's maybe three or four different stamps on a card, but those are extremely rare. Double stamps in themselves are actually pretty rare, but, you know, as pre-releases continue to get... Uh, made and promos keep getting produced, we're going to start seeing more of these in circulation. So it may be a really achievable error for misprint collectors to add to their collection, whereas back when this came out, uh, double stamps were extremely rare. Here's an example of a modern era double stamp with our double planeswalker symbol. And a different variation of too much stamping material. Um, is sometimes random bits of hollow foil get adhered to the cards in places where it's not supposed to. So this is an example where our stamp is not only off center, but we have this nice strip of hollow foil across the bottom of the card. Here's an Eldrazi Mimic that just has this random splotch of hollow foil material over here on the left. Now this actually happened to a bunch of Eldrazi Mimics they're really hard to find nowadays, but it was an error that was repeated across a bunch of cards. Just like this Wingmate Rock, um, this is just a really cool one, if you ask me. I mean, maybe it was a washer or something, um, but you can actually see on this uh, circle imprint the negative space where a stamp was previously cut. Um, so I think it's really neat. Uh, they're really hard to find, and they're such a cool misprint. Here's an example of a card that has uh, some additional hollow foil material on it that's not even supposed to. Um, and we saw a bunch of these out of Jumpstart and M21. Very common, varying severities, but this is one of the nicer ones from Jumpstart that I've seen. Now, another type of stamping error, with, instead of too much foil, you have no foil at all. So you can see as I move this card in the light, or you can start to see the indentation of where that date stamp was supposed to be. So this was a strike of the heat press die with no foil present at all. It's the whole date, but my camera is not behaving. So you can only catch the end of it.
Now here's another example where the stamping material uh, wasn't present. And you can actually see a little circle of indentation from where it was struck. Um, something to note about missing stamps is that there is a method out there for removing the hollow foil stamp from a card. Um, so if you buy any misprints that have a missing hollow foil stamp, take a really good close look at it and be very vigilant, diligent, <laughs> sorry, uh, about the details, the condition, the surface quality, the presence of the wear coat. Um, even look in the back, check the condition of the back of the card, um, just to make sure that there's no foul play involved. You want really clean cards. Now, here's a nice old example of a promotional card missing the stamp. And the way that we know that this one is a promotional card and that it's missing its stamp is it has no set symbol. Um, the normal versions of this card have a set symbol, and the promotional version of the card have a date here. So this is a promo missing a stamp. Here's another promo missing its date stamp. Um, we know that this is a promo because it is the promotional version of the art. Now here's a really cool one. This is another promotional card that is missing its date stamp. Um, however, the only way to distinguish this card from a normal foil version of Dread Wanderer is the fact that it's still sealed in its promotional uh, pre-release packaging. Um, if this card was removed from this packaging, there would be no way to distinguish it, and it would have, I don't want to say no value, but basically none. Another type of stamping error that we run into is cards that are stamped too hard. And you can see as I move this card in the light, there's that embossing effect that happened on the back. And if we look at the front, we can see it just has a little too much pressure that was applied. Um, so this is another type of stamping error that we see. Now we're getting into the more rare stamping errors. Um, this is a case where the incorrect language was used for the date stamp. So we have a Spanish date stamp on a Chinese card. And last but certainly not least, uh, we have a card that wasn't supposed to be a promo at all with a promotional stamp on it. Um, back in the release of M15, this was when they were using only rares uh, as promotional cards. Um, so this is a uncommon card that got a promotional stamp when, in fact, it was supposed to be a rare. So that goes, that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know about stamping errors. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me either in the comments or through the website. You guys know the drill by now. If you like this video and you learned something, feel free to like, subscribe, donate to the channel, do whatever the hell you want. Thank you for watching this video. It's a pleasure making them, and I hope you guys learned some things. Take care.